this festive season, the talk of the town was not about eggnog or mulled wine. It was rather about an Ayurvedic syrup, or in your words, a paneer made from honey and nutmeg. Now, this special syrup has attracted a plethora of controversy and various views were expressed by media, by the public and even the opposition. Many of us have watched in disbelief images of thousands of citizens rushing to the village of Hettimulla in Kegol to get their hands on this bottle of paneer, which is said to be a cure for COVID-19. Dhammika Bandara, the manufacturer of this local syrup, better known as the Dhammika Paneer, or rather the goddess Badra's immunity drink, is said to be a self-proclaimed indigenous medical practitioner. He claims to have found the miracle cure for COVID-19 in which the recipe was revealed to him by God. Now, Dhammika claims this syrup is not only a cure for COVID-19, but is also an immunity booster and a protector from the virus. He further states that one could gain immunity for life if this syrup is consumed one tablespoon twice daily. He also states that this is an ancient remedy hailing from the time of Ravana. But the question is, how can there be a remedy for a virus that didn't exist in the past? During the past few weeks, Dhammika visited the Sri Dalada Maligava and the Jaya Sri Mahabodhya offering this anti-COVID-19 tonic. This particular anti-COVID syrup was also consumed by the State Health Minister Pavitra Maniarachi and a group of parliamentarians from the Sri Lanka Podujana Perimuna. Despite this product not being approved by government authorities as a cure for COVID-19, Bamika was still able to distribute this among the people as it was approved by the Ayurvedic department only as a food supplement. Meanwhile, State Minister of Indigenous Medicine Sisira Jayakodi claims that few clinical trials were carried out in the Vatupitiwala hospitals regarding this COVID-19 syrup and a few patients were tested negative after they had consumed this syrup. But this was soon contradicted by the GMOA by stating that no such tests were carried out. The newly appointed State Minister Sudarshini Fernandapule also warned the public not to try out medicine or distribute products that are not scientifically tested or approved by relevant government authorities. Now, last Sunday, a COVID-infected patient detected from the Varakapule District Secretariat was identified as a person who had consumed this particular syrup. This leaves us with just one question. Should the government be blamed for this situation? Or are the people at fault for overhyping a product and merrily consuming it?